Hi YouTubers, welcome back to part 8 of my CNC plasma table build. Last time we left off I was building a, a box for my plasma cutter itself, my Hypertherm 85. Well there's the box, I have it fully welded on the table. Also on the back side, sorry it's kind of dark, I made, I welded in some venting so it vents right where the, the fan is on the back side, on the side of the plasma cutter itself. It's tough to see down there. Um, this is my my box that's going to house the CNC BOB they call it or the controller. From here, I'm going to run wires. Well, I made a girder set up up here that is going to here we go. That's going to house my main 220 wire coming across. I made a junction box. Didn't make one. Both made a plate for one. And there's going to be a wire coming down from the junction box down to here, into here. It's going to have the 220 and also the 110. And I'm going to put a barrier strip on the table for 110 as well so I can plug my PC in and the controller and a lot of other stuff in. I also was able to just tack weld my sheet metal for the water tray. I started working on that. I'm going to do a full weld on it. I'm going to TIG weld it so it uh, makes a good seal. But I also have to start working on my slat system. And I'm, There's going to be some backbone here in the middle. There's going to be a 1x2 uh, tube welded there first. I'm going to try to put that on there first before I, so I eliminate some warpage. Also in regards to uh, the last two videos, there's my torch holder setup, the magnetic torch holder setup. I've also been working on the cable carrier system. I got this cable carrier set up from Amazon. 18 bucks for two feet, which isn't bad. A lot cheaper than some um, other industrial supply places. But the problem is the dimensions they give on the table or what they show on the specifications is totally wrong. I don't know where they're measuring from, but it says outside dimensions or a certain dimension. Uh, my trays are a little wider than three and a half inches. It's a very tight fit. However, they, it does fit. And uh, you can see it loops here and then comes back to the Z car. It's going to be a different loop when the the cable is, uh, the torch cable is in there. It's going to change the radius because of the weight. So it kind of looks kind of funny right now. But once you get the torch cable in there, it changes its, its shape. I'll had, I also had to make a bracket that attaches to the Z car. They call this the Z car. There's two holes in, in the precision plasma uh, Z car that are just blank holes. I think it's for uh, maybe a plate marker setup that they sell. But those holes are exactly, you just put a tap in there for 5 sixteenths and you're good to go. They're exactly 4 inch spacing apart. I did it on the bridge port, and um, this bracket I TIG welded, um, I had to brace it a little bit, put a tube in here, TIG welded it all, and I also got the bracket, let me move this wire out of the way, got the bracket that goes on the end of the, the cable carrier. Uh, without this tube, it was a lot, a lot of flex in here, because it comes up pretty high, comes up almost a foot. Uh, sorry for the camera movement, but all in all it came out really well. I'm really happy with it. I just can't wait to get this thing wired and get cutting soon, but I have a lot of work to do, a lot of wiring. I also have to make, I bought more wire for this because I need to make the wires longer to reach my controller. On the website that I ordered this stuff from, I failed to click on uh, an option to get longer wires but I don't even know if 25 foot wires would be long enough for what I want to do so I just bought a box of uh, cabling it's uh, alarm cable speaker wire cable uh, 18.4 or whatever it's called um, just got a roll of that so we should be all set once I wire all this stuff up I want to get everything wired and mocked up first and I'm also going to be running a, a tray here with my cable carriers as well with these brackets here so I need to order some more probably about 10 more feet of the cable carrier I want to get everything mocked up 
first all my my um, my stops and my my home switches I want to get make brackets for that because if I have to weld on this table or, or and it's painted I don't want to do that I want to make sure I have all my wiring ready to go already run and then I'll take it all apart disassemble paint it and do a final assembly and wiring so stay tuned for more more CNC plasma table build if you haven't subscribed please subscribe thanks for watching